good. As you are aware, there has been a standoff uh, between the board and management of the National Irrigation Board over the last two to three weeks. And following this standoff, I did issue a directive to the board under Section 13 of the National Irrigation Act, which directive and notice expired on the 11th of May 2016 and which directive by 11th of May had not been complied with and given the resultant state of paralysis in this institution which has affected operations of NIB I did yesterday dissolve the National Irrigation Board in its entirety. I have also received and accepted a request for early retirement from public service by the general manager of NIB, engineer Daniel Barraza, following the deterioration in relations between the management and the board to ensure smooth transition and stability in this institution in the meantime, I have appointed Mr. Gitonga Mugambi to act as general manager and to oversee the smooth transition of the institution in the interim. I am proceeding to reconstitute this board and the first task of the new board will be to carry out an open and competitive recruitment of a new CEO to replace the outgoing long-serving general manager of NIB within the next three months and to effect whatever changes that are necessary to ensure proper management of this key institution. Further, the reconstitution of the board is necessary because three of the board members, including the chairman, are serving public officers in various public universities, contrary to circular reference number OP strokes CAB 9 stroke 1A, dated 3rd of February 2016, from the head of public service and chief of staff, which directed all ministries to replace board members who are also public officers. And if we replace the three, really, there will be very few left of the independent uh, board members, and it is absolutely necessary that in their replacement, we reconstitute the entire board. In the meantime, investigations by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and all independent institutions will proceed and this will cover not just a few individuals but we're asking the institutions to carry out thorough investigations uh, in relation to the entire management and the board and 
anyone who is found to have participated in any corruption or any improprieties will face the full force of the law. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, NIB has a critical role to play in ensuring our national food security, and we cannot allow corruption, boardroom wars, sideshows, and intrigues to affect the momentum that we have built towards realization of this goal. I believe, and I want to assure Kenyans, that the remedial measures taken will see these institutions start out on a clean slate and on a stronger footing with a new board and a new management that will be focused on delivery of its mandate professionally and effectively. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Can you ask me the question?